precast building construction how to construct the foundations how to construct the columns how to construct the slabs how to construct the beams all this and much more will be discussed today i am prasad from structural guy please subscribe our youtube channel you may get the notification on new videos let's see the construction process of precast buildings foundations now in the precast construction we can use the driven piles as a precast piles and also cast in situ pile as a board piles also but driven piles we can consider as a precast element but cast in situ are not the precast element but that also can be used depending on the structure requirement in the precast building construction here you can see the precast pad foundations in the small buildings we can use the pad post small buildings you can use the pad foundation or the isolated footings for the construction similar kind of footings as you can see here footings and the column head like thing that you can insert the column can be used as the foundation so column construction same as the footing you can do the construction of the concrete column that can be inserted into the footing so these provisions you can make in the footing then you can insert the column into that footing as you can see here we have make the column head with hole so we can put the column into the footing so beams also we can do the similar procedure for the construction this is a kind of foundation as we saw previously and we have inserted the column into the foundation once you insert the column into the footing the gap can be filled with the grout so the gap will be filled with the grout then it's like a monolithic cast column there's no movement between footing and foundation so it's a very solid element now let's see how to construct the beams and beam column joint so as you can see here this is the beam and beam is supported on the column so when you cast the columns we can make these cobbles or when you have a cantilever hang hangover part then it can be casted together with the column so this small part you can cast together with the columns and when you have a large span beam then you can cast the cobble to support that beam how we can do the flow you can place primary beams as i shown previously on the cobbles then you can put the put the secondary beams on the primary beams those secondary beams could be post tension or pre tension beams that are placed in a regular spacing on the top of that you may put the tile or you may put the concrete precast or post tension concrete slabs as you can see here now we have placed the precast concrete slabs there so this is a fairly large span precast concrete slabs these are post tension slabs they can carry the load that is applied from the slab here the beams are there on those two beams this slab will be supported and there will be a small gap between these two and there will be a key also so we can fill this during the construction with the, the sufficient gap can be kept there and then it will be filled with the concrete layer this is the concreting process of the precast slab now as we show previously these are the panels and on the top of these panels we put the we, we put the reinforcement layer to carry the hogging moment because now these slabs are simply supported and all the slabs will be simply supported but there will be a hooking moment here due to the monolithic construction so you may put the reinforcement and also this this process with this monolithic construction and this providing this reinforcement it can carry certain hooking moment and then it the total load carrying capacity will also be increased and also we have to make sure put in the reinforcement net avoid the cracking and also we do don't want to fit very high thick concrete layer there small concrete layer adequate for this purpose so fairly fast construction you get the concrete flow slab what are the advantage of this precast construction in the precast construction we can use the post tension and the pre tension now beams for beams regular type beams we may use the pre tension it's very easy for the construction when you producing repetitive nature elements you may use the pre tension elements due to the its fast construction it save time when it save the time it save the cost and also due to the repetitive nature of this building repetitive nature of this construction it also save certain cost and also it's very easy if we have a systematic building or regular type building it will be very easy for the construction because the all the elements are 
repetitive so you can make the molds and you can produce the similar kind of element in the structure with that we end the today discussion on precast building construction we hope that you get certain idea about precast building construction let's meet again for my video thank you very much